think he likes you. Not for long. Shot! Where did you learn that? Hunting orcs. The Arbiter cannot bar me forever, Elf. You and I will have our day. Let's keep moving. Four of them! Come on! Which of you filth dies first today? Athel, we really don't have time for this. Very well. Take them. By the light! I'm glad you're on our side. Uh, yes, just one big happy family, mortal. Move along. The sooner we win, the sooner I'm free of you. Spread out! The artifact should be here somewhere. Dragon has a weak spot. If I can hit it just right. <laughs> I think I like this dragon. Well, that could have gone better. Any ideas? We attack together on three. For Teleria! For the Arbiter! I thought these champions may have been the ones. Yet it seems I have failed. They were not ready. Teleria is dying, consumed by war and discord. Even now, dark forces in the service of Siroth spread a foul shadow from the east. As guardian of Teleria, I have done what I can, but my power is almost spent. This task now falls to you. I have strength left to restore only one fallen champion to aid you. With their shard remade, they will be bound to your will. But you must choose. I think out of all of them, we go with him. But let's check out the other ones first. High Elf. And Orcs. And Sacred Order. So be it. Awaken, warrior. This is your bastion. From here, you will summon and train champions to fight the Dark One and his Shadow. You have chosen your first champion, but one champion is not an army. Use a Mystery Shard to summon another champion at the portal. Mystery Shards allow you to summon common, uncommon, and rare champions. Excellent. You've summoned an attack type champion with great attack and support skills. Let's head to the campaign map and prepare your champions for their first taste of combat. Behold, Karok Castle, seat of King Tabor. This is where your journey begins. I fear that the king and his banner lords have fallen to the shadow. Once noble and just, he has brought war upon his allies and ruin on his people. You and your champions must fight through his banner lords, find him, and see if he has turned to Siroth. All right, let's find out if he's a traitor. Eleven generations of peace had reigned between the kingdom of Karak and the realm of Aravia. A peace now shattered by King Taba's brutal campaign of expansion into the neutral lands between the two kingdoms. Once revered as a pillar of justice, King Taba had imposed crushing taxes to finance his war with his former ally, bringing desolation and ruin upon his own people. Had the king lost all reason? On the orders of the Arbiter, the company set out to persuade him to renounce his folly and wayward policies. 
even if it meant storming the very gates of Kirok Castle. Karok will not fall easily. Like all places in Teleria, there are multiple stages of defenders. You must defeat all stages to move forward with your journey. This is where you select your team and review the enemy champions before each battle. Each champion has unique skills and an affinity that makes them weak or strong against another affinity. Magic beats spirit, spirit beats force, force beats magic, and void is special. Void champions have no direct weaknesses against other affinities. You have only two champions. Let us pick your team. Well done. Notice that your leader has an aura skill. These provide special bonuses to all allied champions in a battle. The arrows above each enemy's head show how your champion's affinity matches up against theirs. All right, here we go. This is our first battle. It looks like it tells us how many rounds we have in the top right, as well as how much seconds we have been spending on this battle. Which is interesting, I don't usually see the second thing. It looks like the arrows above the head tell you how strong you are against them. So green is really strong, yellow is mediocre, and red would be not good at all. Now let's finish this off quickly. Good job. Excellent. Campaign levels drop artifacts, and here's your first. Artifacts are powerful items that boost your champion's stats. Along with special items, your champions will earn XP after every battle. Earn enough and they'll level up, growing in strength and power. Go to your champion collection and equip that artifact. This is where you can view all champions under your control. Each champion can equip a- Oops, I didn't mean to cut her off. Fight through his banner lords and find him. I must know if he has succumbed to the shadow. Battle 2 seems to be as easy as Battle 1. I'm just holding my finger down so that you can see what the attacks do. And so that I can see what the attacks do, of course. This first video is just going to be a short one of the introduction of the game. But I'm going to make a second one so that uh, I can tell you guys tips and tricks of the game. Because there are some things that I learned that uh, you probably really need to know. Congratulations, you leveled up. Every time you level up, you'll get full energy, gems, and sometimes you'll even unlock new features. And here are your rewards from battle. With this artifact, you'll have enough to equip a full set. Let's go. Artifacts can be equipped in... Special icons will show which artifact sets a champion is equipped with. Tap on the set icon to read more about which bonuses it gives to your champions. This set boosts your champion's HP by 15%. Life artifacts come in sets of two, meaning you can gain a huge 45% HP boost with three sets. Let's upgrade this artifact and improve its bonuses. Excellent work. When you upgrade artifacts to certain levels, they gain new substats, giving your champions an even bigger boost. 
You have learned well. Keep strengthening your warriors. I shall return in time to teach you more. Well, this is the end of the first video for Raid Shadow Legend. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so that I can see you every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. This is Twy in game. Twy out. To what we have, we take us to the edge of that.